you look behind me, you'll see the field. Uh, that's 3,000 tons of drain rock sitting there that's been perfectly arrayed over a very sophisticated drainage system. My understanding is this system will drain at a rate of about 40 inches an hour. So the days of playing in a mud bowl at South Kitsap are certainly behind us. Tester with the fumble on the snap, picks the ball up, and he's able to get forward, and he's going to get the first down. I can't believe it. If you're Gig Harbor, you're just absolutely beside yourself. This field is going to play dry, it's going to play very fast. We're using a state-of-the-art technology. It will be the second high school in the United States that will have our kids playing on an infill that instead of crumb rubber will be cork and a product called coir, which is a coconut husk and rice hulls. 100% organic, there's no chemical issues associated with it. We're looking at the bags of infill mix. It's uh, produced by a company in Italy named La Manta, and uh, it's a combination of organic fibers that are now being used for the first time in the United States as infill product. There are 5,000 synthetic fields in the United States. Most of them, as an infill, use a product called crumb rubber. This is ground tires uh, that uh, come out of the waste stream. Uh, a field such as ours would have the equivalent of about 27,000 uh, disposed tires ground to create the infill uh, to support the field. What we'll be using is 100% organic, very benign, and uh, one of the great advantages of it, and this is getting a lot of interest down in the south, is the crumb rubber field, because it's a black surface, tends to absorb a lot of heat uh, from the environment. So it's not uncommon in places like Texas for the kids to be playing on fields that are 165 degrees. Here in Washington State, we don't have that problem, but even here, we do see, uh, if, if you've got children who've played soccer in the afternoon on a crumb rubber field, you're familiar with the fact that it's hot and you're taking some of that field home with you. So it it kind of collects and attaches itself to the children. This product is uh, not going to do that. It, it uh, on the surface, stays fairly dry, but what we'll do is we'll keep it hydrated so it has that excellent resiliency we're looking for. Well, this does not absorb heat, so this doesn't get any um, hotter than the outside ambient air temperature. He looks like he's sitting up under his own power there. May have just had the wind knocked out of him. Nice job as he gets up and he's going to walk. But what we liked about it when we visited a similar field in Corpus Christi, Texas, is that it's got excellent foot stability, which means our players are going to have uh, fewer problems with ACL sprains. Uh, turf toe will be a thing of the past because the foot stability is exceptional. It's on a par with a uh, regular grass turf field. So we couldn't be more excited. Uh, our first game will be the 4th of September. Uh, substantial completion by the company has been promised for the 31st of August. Now my hunches were probably going to beat that.